Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Neith, Weaver of Fate. When time began, there was only endless black waters. Yet from water comes all life, and from this primordial force was born the first of goddesses, Neith. As the waters continued to form the world and everything within it, Neith's natural instinct to protect and nurture the people led her to champion the hunt. With meat, she fed them, and with hides, she clothed them. But as the people she sought to protect grew old or sick or died on the battlefield, Neith's compassion forced her to change her calling. With nimble fingers, the goddess wove shrouds to shield the lost spirits of the dead on their journey to the underworld, leaving a loose thread she could trace as the ghosts ventured down the river. As time passed, more and more threads spread across the world, weaving an intricate pattern of fate that only Neith could see. Now the war between gods grows ever more fevered, and Neith can no longer sit idle. The threads of fate are fraying at the edges, and she must once again pick up her bow and hunt, or watch the world return to the waters from whence it came. In Smite, Neith uses her bow to play the role of a ranged physical fighter. Neith's passive is called Broken Weave, when an enemy god dies, it leaves behind a broken weave that Neith can see. Neith has visibility around the weave, and most of her abilities have secondary effects when used on the broken weaves. Her first ability is called Spirit Arrow. Neith fires a shot that passes through all enemies, dealing physical damage and rooting them. If the arrow hits a weave, it will explode, damaging and rooting all in the radius. Her second ability is called Unravel. Neith neatly unravels the world weaves, damaging and debuffing the attack speed of all the enemies in the target area. She also heals from up to three targets. Any broken weaves in the area are removed, giving Neith additional health. Neith's third ability is called Backflip. Neith backflips through the air, creating a broken weave and damaging enemies in a narrow cone in front of her enemies hit are also slowed. Neith's ultimate is called World Weaver. Neith fires an arrow across the entire world, seeking its target and passing through all obstacles. If an enemy god is hit, they are stunned and take damage. If a broken weave is hit, the same effect is applied to all enemies in the radius. In this fight, Neith is pinned back to her tower, narrowly dodging Ra's celestial beam. Thor comes in against the enemy Ra and stuns him. As Ra tries to escape, Neith fires a spirit arrow at the broken weave, rooting Ra before he can get out of range. A couple of basic attacks finished him off. In this fight, Neith and Thor are pushing really hard on their lane. Thor goes in against Anhur and Neith fires a spirit arrow that hits Anhur through the minions, setting up the Mjolnir throw for the kill. Neith backflips out of the fight, shockingly escaping with 8 health. In this scenario, the enemy Hercules walks into an ambush as Thor runs around the corner. Neith fires a spirit arrow and roots Hercules to start the fight. As Hercules tries to run, she spins around and uses backflip to close the distance. She goes into a World Weaver to stun and allow Thor to catch up and secure the kill. As a Weaver of Fate, Neith relies on delivering swift and deadly attacks through her World Weaves. Starting off with a point in Unravel is a good idea for early game harassment and for maintaining the lane with the heal benefit. Next, picking up Spirit Arrow gives Neith a farming tool and the ability to root players that find themselves overextended. At level 3, pick up your first rank of backflip to allow Neith to escape if she needs to get away quickly. From there, the priorities shift to World Weaver, Spirit Arrow, Unravel, Backflip. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for me, Weaver of Fate.